What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Kel. And it's your girl, Jaws. Back with another video. Y'all happy to see us because we have been gone. We haven't been posting regu regularly. It's my fault. <laughs> I've been super busy, but I apologize. We're going to get back on schedule. Yes, we got y'all in October, November, and December. We coming. Bone content, okay? <laughs> so y'all know what today is. Table Talk Thursday, and we are talking about... How is it living with your partner, your significant other? How is it? Because everybody got they, <laughs> everybody got their own opinion and stuff like that. So we're going to talk about that. But before we get into the video, so what to do that. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to turn those post notifications. We know y'all missed us. Yeah, I mean, we're back with one. how could you not miss us? <laughs> so let's get into the video. So we got a list of things that we think are important or should we talk about, you know, you living with your partner. So the first one is basically us doing really like the pros and cons or whatever, right? Yeah. Kind of like the pros and cons. But, um, got these topics. So the first one is when you living with your partner, communication is like a main priority. Like that's like the biggest thing, communication, because, oh, I forgot to tell y'all, we eat Papa John's pizza today. And it has bacon, Italian sausage, and jalapenos. That's what we like to get on our pizza. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Anyway, just put some there. Okay, so communication. We live with your partner. It is very important to communicate about everything. Every, everything. Everything. And with us, we have Dior. So we gotta communicate about who cooking, who doing dishes, grocery shopping, who picking up Dior, who taking Dior to get shots. We gotta communicate literally about everything. So you don't have communication, y'all gonna be in the house just always going at it, arguing, um, and just gonna be a bit of like tension in the house. And can't nobody live with tension. You want your like house to be a place of peace. Mm -hmm. So. Sorry, y'all. I had to take a bite. <laughs> Communication is key. And not even with just living together, but also just being in a relationship, period. You need to communicate with each other. And we talked about that in one of our, in our first table talk. Sure. Yeah, in our second table talk, we talked about that. So y'all, go check that out. Two days and get tips. Anyway, on to the second thing. marriage okay so while living together in my opinion I think couples should live should live together before they get married because you want to see how that person lives you want to know if they clean you want to know if they dirty you want to know if they know how to cook you want to know if they know how to manage things so especially money when y'all paying bills and stuff like that so in my opinion you should live together before you get married I feel the same way, but to each his own, because you know, a lot of people were like, with religion and stuff like that, some people say, well, you're not supposed to shake and stuff like that, but at the same time, you have to do what works for you. And that's at the end of the day, that's what it boils down to. You gotta do what works for you. And if you're trying to save money, it really helps or whatever. Especially both y'all trying to build something because this is my opinion too. Me and Babe both agree on this. Before we even start living together, we had two separate apartments. We never, it's either I'm never in my apartment or he never in his apartment. So why both of us paying bills? It's two separate places. Like seven, eight hundred dollars in rent separately and we never there. It doesn't make sense. But at the end of the day, still gonna do what works for you. But that's what makes sense to us. So yeah. And another thing, this also leads into, um, well, they used to say, like, living habits and stuff like this. Mm -hmm. So, that's, that, that was another topic, living habits. But you really want to see how the person is. 
Um, the next thing is, it tests your relationship. Living together definitely tests your relationship from literally everything. From just how you are as a person because people are not raised the same. So yeah. just because you do something one way, or what makes what makes sense to you may not make sense to somebody else. Or they may do something totally different, you know? Because everybody not raised the same. So are y'all compatible enough? Can y'all come to common ground? Can y'all compromise with living together? Because if you don't want to marry that person you're dating, you gotta figure out what they like, what they don't like. So it's best to go ahead and deal with each other. Mm -hmm. But that's how you figure out somebody. You know, if you wanna know somebody, live with them. Mm -hmm. For real. If you wanna know somebody, live with them. I agree. Next thing is, I mean, living together, create boundaries. Create boundaries as far as basically your 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 personal space. Right? Yeah. It's like just you, yeah, you want a relationship, but you want to be up under each other twenty four seven. We also talked about that in our other table talk. And Kel, well, I do be up under him, not giving him space, but I've gotten better. But yes, I have. Mm -hmm. But you wasn't in that little story. <laughs> my hair have gotten better with being up under you. Mm -hmm. You say. In my opinion, I've gotten better. Let you tell it, I haven't done. But yeah, but um, in the apartments we, we have had together, we always get two bedrooms. We always get two bedrooms. We get two bedrooms because you do want your personal space. And that's what it come down to, like a personal space. And when you actually move in together, don't wait until you've been living together for two or three months to establish boundaries and stuff like that. You gotta do that when you first move in. Mm -hmm. Like, don't wait too late, cause then it'll be too late and things can be to transpire or swept up under the rug. And it'll be too late then, like you can't go back and change it. So that's why it's good to create those boundaries and stuff. One of the pros about living together is bonding and trying new things together. Most definitely. We try, we try a lot of new things together. And we had a lot of firsts together too, so that, you know, make it even more enjoyable. But, um, so this is my bestest friend. I get yeah, to see her every day. We're really best friends for real. Like, he's really my best friend. <laughs> see each other every day. Mm-hmm. And like one time we went to the gun range and I wasn't a fan of the gun range. Like I'm still not. But when I went, do you still have a clip from it? We need to insert that clip. Is this so uh, funny? Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> the clip is so funny. We went to the gun range and I don't like it, but they like it. So it's like, I still had a good time uh, and I enjoyed it because he enjoyed it. So it's like when you with your partner, you may not always like things that they like. Just like base, me going shopping. He doesn't like going shopping with me. And it's because I, I run out. I don't know how to leave the store and I pick up so much stuff then I'd be expecting Bae to reimburse me too <laughs> I'd be expecting you to reimburse me every time so but he will go with me because I like to go buying home decor and just going to TJ Maxx like it doesn't matter anything he does it because I like to do it so we both get to try new things experience new things with each other and enjoy what each other like to do mm -hmm. so yeah even with our dates and stuff like that we bond over our dates we always reflect and stuff like that on our trips we reflect on stuff so that's a good thing about it yeah so in our opinion if you're a couple and you know that's the one for you 
you guys should stay together so you can get to know that person better. Cause like I said earlier, <clears throat> you really don't know nobody until you live with them. Mm-hmm. Trust me. And you got no talk. Final thing, the good thing about living together is that you actually get to grow together. Mm-hmm. Like, and that's pretty much the final thing. Like, you actually get to see each other grow and you get to experience new moments together. You get to experience milestones with each other. I love it with my boyfriend. <laughs> I do. I mean, you and all in all, you just get to grow together. It's yeah. But look, don't take this video as I'm saying if y'all together, y'all should just move in. Yeah. Only move in if you know y'all gonna get married. That's the one for you. Even though sometimes do happen. Yeah. Once people move in, they see how the person really is. But if you think y'all are gonna get married, move in with that person Definitely. and see how it is. And that's all, folks. Yeah, that's all. This table talk was really short and just straight to the point. And this video is solely on our opinions. You know, nobody else is just like, what we think, what we do, or whatever. So, yeah. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications. Make sure you hit that button. <clears throat> turn that thing on. And... So y'all can see Kayla and Josh. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, baby. I love you too. <laughs> Don't do that. I love you too. He got mad. He got mad. No. Oh. He love y'all. <laughs> see y'all in the next video.